Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 24th to January 30th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Oh, also, I wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of Taurus in regards to love for this week. All right, Taurus, let's take a look. First card we have here is the Page of Wands in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, Nine of Swords in reverse, Three of Swords, and Page of Swords at the bottom. So there's a heavy theme here of a third party situation with the three of swords and three of pentacles. For some of you, you're dealing with someone who has a third party. And you're kind of that side person or second option type of person. But I do feel like you removed yourself from this situation. Hmm. Page of Swords, you're still, you're spying on this person or um, thinking about this person heavily. Let me take a look. What's the Three of Swords spirit? Yeah, Four of Wands in reverse and the King of Pentacles upright rejection this feels like rejection somebody rejected you or somebody broke up with you or divorced you or left the house where you two will, were living abandoned you you might feel betrayed by this person what's the three of pentacles Ooh, the tower. Okay, unexpected here. Ending. And the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this looks to me like somebody broke the contract, you know, that you two had. You know, figure, figure of speech doesn't necessarily a literal contract unless it's a marriage contract. Somebody broke the contract or broke the agreement. Or just broke the the union and walked away. You feel betrayed. You might have been dealing with someone who cared more cared more about their money, career, status than they cared about the relationship. Or someone who was just, you know, very self-centered. They did a lot of taking, but not, but not a lot of giving. It was one-sided. 
What is the Queen of Cups in reverse spirit? Hermit card and the King of Swords. I feel like you want something better. You feel like you don't deserve what you received from this person. You feel like you deserve better. You're carrying a grudge or resentment. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. Let's move on and let's take a look at um, how do you see this person? What is your view of this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with in love here? Alright Spirit, please show me how does Taurus see or view the person that they're dealing with. We have the world card, so you view this as ended, something that ended, uh, a closed chapter, a closed cycle. Six of Pentacles. Okay, well... It's Six of Pentacles is a relationship, the ending of a, of a relationship. Three of Swords in reverse, again. You might see this person as someone who broke your heart. Yeah. Somebody who caused you harm or pain. Emotional harm. What else? The four oh ones again with the with the relationship cards here. For some of you, this is someone who you were married to or who you had a really strong relationship with or commitment with. What is the Three of Swords about, Spirit? Two of Cups? Jesus, what is what happened? Two of Cups is a really strong union here. So, you might have thought that things were perfect between you two, and this person just all of a sudden decided to leave you. Or switch switch the script on you. Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, that's what I got. I'm not. I'm see, I'm just seeing that the same message of someone who just broke up a really good relationship what is the world card the death card okay so yeah an ending like I said a, a final ending so you see it this person as someone who ended things and someone who broke your heart all right Let's move on. Let's take a look at the energy. Let's take a look at the energy of your person now for this week. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week.
All right, let's take a look. First card we have here is the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands in Reverse, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Star in Reverse, okay, and Temperance at the bottom. Some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um... Or in Aquarius, we have all the signs here. Well, I do, I do see that this person is unhappy here. With the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is a strange energy here. Two of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Why are they looking outside of the connection looking at other options when there's such a strong relationship here with the two of cups let me clarify tell me about this um page of swords first here four of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups in reverse I'm starting to wonder if it was them who left you or did you leave them, Taurus? Or did you two just leave each other? Because your, your energy and their energy feels a lot very similar. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in Reverse Spirit. Ten of Wands in reverse, they feel unfinished business, and the Page of Wands upright. They're waiting for communication from you. They feel like there's unfinished business. What? What's the Two of Cups about? The World in reverse, they feel there's unfinished business. The Chariot in reverse. They're not ready to move on. They're not ready to let you go completely. What's the Seven of Cups? The Empress in reverse. And the Tower in reverse. They feel like they're not good enough for you with the Empress card in reverse. They feel like they're not good enough for you. That's strange. Wait, why is the star in reverse, Spirit? Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. This looks to me like someone who wants to be in a relationship with you, Taurus. I don't know if somebody cheated here. Somebody might have had a third party situation and maybe they were back and forth here. They were back and forth between, somebody was back and forth between um, one person and a, and a third party. There's an energy of this person missing you, thinking about you and missing you. And feeling very empty without you. There's a deep emptiness with this person. They feel like they, they're forced. They're forced to look at other options. Even though they don't want to look at other options. They feel forced to do so. Okay. I'm going to stop the reading here, Taurus. Because it's very all over the place. So I'm going to continue in the extended reading. And hopefully... Things will be a lot clearer over there. I'm going to take a deeper look at what exactly are this person's real feelings for you? What are their real intentions? And what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you are interested, you can follow me there. 
All right, thank you so much for watching, Taurus. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.